Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Keely Allen and welcome to a little bit more of a chilled out get to know me video this week. So it's probably like the number one thing I bang on about all the time and that is basically that I'm very, very busy and I don't have as much time as I used to to prepare, you know, the more informational long videos that I normally come out with each week. So this week, being that I'm particularly busy, we're going to just sit down, chill out and I'm going to address your assumptions about me. So I asked you guys on Instagram, you know, send me your assumptions about me so I'm just gonna go through them kind of as quick as possible let's just see what you guys have to say you want a lot of plants but you also still want your apartment to look aesthetically pleasing yes absolutely there are a few reasons for this actually one before I moved here I had a lot of stock for the shop in my old flat for quite some time to be honest and it, seriously it was like wall to wall with like different back here everywhere you really couldn't get moved it sucked and I felt, honestly, I felt kind of depressed because there was so much clutter. So when I moved here, I thought, okay, I'm gonna declutter. I'm gonna get rid of some plants. One, because my place is smaller. Two, because I don't want the clutter. But to be honest, nowadays, I don't have the time to look after as many plants as I used to be able to. So it's kind of good that I've, you know, downsized my plant collection you have a lot of money. Now, I actually got this question in different forms quite a lot. I don't have a lot of money at all. I had to drop days at work in order to be able to still do YouTube and run a shop. So I used to work five days a week and now work three days a week, but I still work five days a week, if that makes any sense. So I do three days a week in my nine to five job, and then I do probably a day on YouTube and a day on the shop, which is how it should be. But realistically, it's kind of all the time on YouTube and all the time on the shop. So. I haven't made any more money. I've just changed the way that the money comes in and the sources that the money comes in from. Really, it's about me juggling my time more than anything else and making sure that I can still do this and do it to the, you know, the best quality that I can. You're secretly a makeup artist. Thank you, but no. Uh, I watch beauty gurus just like probably a lot of you do on the internet, on YouTube, but no, I've never even had any experience putting makeup on other than I've done my mum's makeup a few times. I'm certainly not an MUA. Ooh, you love making YouTube videos but wouldn't quit your full-time job if given the chance. That's a tough one. I would only quit my job if I either didn't enjoy what I was doing anymore or, you know, for some reason, the company that I worked with didn't look after me or I didn't feel valued anymore. I think until such a thing happens, I would always love to keep my job. That's not something I really want to drop. I love doing what I do. It has become harder to do it with everything else that's going on, but I would certainly like to keep on doing it. So as long as those things are still in place, then I don't anticipate quitting my job. You already have most of your wish list plans from your last video. Uh, ooh, let me think. Philodendron Vericosum, Philodendron Melanochrysum, Philodendron Gloriosum, Philodendron Mycan, Philodendron White Wizard. If you do not know what this plant is, it is wonderful. It is velvety and it is camouflage. The Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, the Monstera Siltipicana, Monstera Albo Borsigiana, so basically the white variegated Monstera, the Alba. Borsigiana, which is the yellow version. I am not expecting to find this. This is the variegated Atmosonii. I'm not finding this. I know, you know, <laughs> Monstera epipremnoides. This, of course, is the same scenario as the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti in the way that I'm just not gonna have one of these. I'm not. This one, I mean, it's blue. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this. This looks like you just shouldn't be anywhere near it, and I love that. <laughs> the Queen Anthurium Dark Form. Similarly, you can't really have a queen anthurium without a king anthurium, I would say. Yeah, yeah. You're an extrovert. Nope, wrong. Definitely not an extrovert. You're a cat person. True, definitely. I wouldn't say no to having a dog, but generally my first love is probably cats. You're addicted to philodendrons. Yes and no. Monstera may be my favorite genus of plant. I'm not sure. I've never had to really think about it. The plants that never let me down are always Monstera. Even philodendron can be a little bit. So I guess yes, but also Monstera. You have a dark sense of humor to a point where some people don't know if you're joking. Yes, I can probably get in trouble with some dark humor and dark jokes generally. I'm quite a dark person. Oh, this one kind of makes me giggle a little bit because I was, I was kind of waiting for this to come. But this one says, you don't like cheap plants. Now I will kind of address this because I'm laughing because it's just gonna come off so snobbish and I'm sorry. It's not that I don't like cheap plants. I will give you a very quick rundown of how I got into the whole 
whole rare plants thing. Basically, you know, I moved to a city where there was basically no green, got into plants, did the standard thing where you get one and then you add more and more and more and more and more. Suddenly you live in a jungle. But I found when I was watching, you know, YouTube videos of plants, like house plant tours and things like that, I was always seeing the same stuff over and over again. So I learned a lot about plants, don't get me wrong, but I always learned about the ones that were always there, like, you know, pothos, a lot of hoya, just the stuff that people generally have and there's nothing wrong with that but I found myself because you know I'm a bit of a nerd I was thinking oh but what what else can you get you know what what is there out there that I've never seen before I don't like to own plants simply because they're rare I like to own them because they're probably not something I've seen before so it's not actually the rarity at all it's the fact that you don't see them and I'm like wow that's special to me because you don't often see it but it's not that I don't like cheap plants you know if if a uh, Thai constellation was cheap I would have it all the same it's not a cheap thing and it's not a snobbish thing even though you know it probably comes off as quite snobbish but you're really short no taller than five foot two i am five foot four inches tall so i'm still pretty short i'm not five two but i'm i'm short enough to be honest i actually like being quite short i quite like being you know petite and just small like sometimes i stay on couches and my feet don't touch the floor it's like short girl problems let me know in the comments if you have the same problem you love a pot noodle sandwich when no one is looking <sighs> No, <laughs> no, definitely not. You will never film a video without any makeup on. Probably not. And there's no necessary reason for that. It's just, it's what helps me and my confidence. I don't personally feel confident without makeup on. If you do, that's fantastic. I just, I don't feel confident without it on. You're Ellie Golding's cousin. That's, I don't normally get that. I've never had that one before. I normally get fern cotton for some reason. Ellie Golding's cousin. Never had that before, that's that's news to me. There's a few ones here like, you like to drink, do you get drunk and come home and talk about your plants? Honestly, I don't really drink. Now, it's not because I'm against drinking, I'm all for a good drink, you know? I don't have the time. If I go out and get drunk, I'm probably gonna get very hungover and I'm not gonna be able to do what I need to do the next day. And I'm nearly 30 now, yes, really. So my, my ability to fight off a hangover is dwindling quite a bit, so I can't really drink very much, unless I've got some time off. Oh, you're a perfectionist in pretty much every aspect of your life. Yeah, understatement, if I'm honest with you, understatement. Oh, you debated between a plant and a makeup channel because your makeup is always so pretty. Oh, thanks. I actually think I may have. Not at the same time I was gonna set up the plant channel, but I think at one point, you know, years ago, I thought about doing more of a makeup channel, but it never happened. So I guess I just knew I wasn't as good as the other girls that are doing it, so I didn't really bother. Your wine of choice is rosé and you used to play first person shooters in online co-op. Do you know me? Like, yes, that's absolutely true. Maybe you don't know me, but that's like dead on. Yeah, I did. My favorite video game is definitely Borderlands. Can't wait for the new game, by the way. And I only drink rosé if it's a wine. I haven't found a single red or white that I like. So yeah, that's kind of dead on. You wet your plants on the regular. Not enough, but yeah. Not an assumption, but what's your sign? I am a Libra, so ironically, I'm all about balance. And honestly, nothing in my life is balanced. I'm pretty much all or nothing. So take from that what you will. Your online presence is the same as your real self. If anybody does know me or has known me that has seen any of my videos, then apart from the odd case of nerves, yes, it, it's just me. I have nothing to hide. I'm just being myself. It's hard to get your personality across or anything though when you do all the rare plant indexes and all the informational stuff. If I were to do more videos where I kind of do things like this or like the um, propagating the giant monstera video then yeah you'd probably see more of who I was. To be honest that's something I would like to work on because I feel like although I'm giving out good content and good informational stuff no one really knows who I am so I would like to do that a little bit more. Ooh that you're getting sent loads of free plants now. So jealous if it's true. Uh, it's not most of my plants are very, very likely to be hauled from, you know, when I take stuff in from my shop. So if I take in some stock, I've probably bought it for everybody, but I take one for myself. I may kind of look for something specific that I want, but other than that, no. No one's sending me free plants. Uh, they're all mine. I pay for all of them, so. How many people are saying that I'm wealthy? What is it that makes you guys think that I'm wealthy? Because if, it, if it's that I, it seems that like all my is together it's really not like i'm not wealthy at all i wish i was wealthy but i'm not oh this is a good one chemical x is a conspiracy you invented to generate traffic i mean 
no, it's 100% a thing. In fact, I got a lot of criticism for not releasing the name of the chemical because apparently you can find it on Google. You know, I was just doing my bit, but yeah, it's not a conspiracy. My name for it is obviously made up, but it's not a conspiracy at all. It's totally a thing. You have a master's or a PhD. So I have a degree in computer games programming and I have a master's in computer games engineering, which honestly, it's kind of the same thing. Yes, I do have a degree and I do have a master's. You dye your hair often. I usually get my hair done by a hairdresser every two months, so eight weeks. That's it, I don't touch it outside of that unless I'm late in going to the salon. So I don't know if every eight weeks classes is often. My hair grows pretty quickly. I guess that's often, I don't really know. You don't like sleeping in in the morning. Yep, totally true. Hate it. If Maybe if I slept until 8 a.m. I would feel like I was being super unproductive. That's only because my body is in the cycle where it should be waking up at about half six. So yeah, I don't like sleeping in at all. You're not a very feminine person, aka a girly girl. Very true. Maybe I, I don't know how to go about this. Maybe I exhibit the traits of someone that would appear to be a girly girl, but I'm not. I'm actually a huge tomboy huge tomboy. No, if that's what feminine is, then no, I'm not that feminine. You'd never tell anyone how much you spent on your obliqua in brackets, your firstborn child. The obliqua was a gift. I didn't spend any money on that. That was gifted to me. So that makes me obviously the luckiest girl on planet earth, but I didn't spend a penny on it. That you played World of Warcraft and your go-to character was a blood elf priest. You are so close. You are so close because I did play World of Warcraft. I was a priest, but I was a Drenai priest. So I played for Alliance, but never played for Horde. Tried it, just it wasn't for me. So you're so, so close with that. That's quite interesting. You make tidy shopping lists. Yes, my shopping lists are a little bit extreme. I like to do this thing where, right, this, this is ridiculous, okay. But if I know the shop I'm going into, I will make a list in the order that I'm gonna go around the shop. So if I know the fresh section is first, I will do all the things in the fresh section, then I will move on and the next things on my list will be, you know, in another section. And that's kind of how I'll do my list. So I just chronologically go through the shop in order of my list and you get things done so much faster. If you know your shop really well, you should try doing that because it's brilliant. You tend not to forget stuff. You don't have to zigzag around and go backwards. It's very sad, but it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> I like making lists. I'm a list person. Oh, you are the coolest, most amazing person I've ever met. That's one of my best friends, Christiana. Hello. I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you soon. Oh. You're extremely OCD, for lack of a better term, and, ev and need everything planned in your life. Yeah. Uh, if, if there is no plan for the day or plan for the week, or plan for a thing coming up. I don't do very well. I feel like I can't place myself. I can't relax because I, I, I like to plan very, very heavily most of the time for most things I do. So if there's no plan there, yeah, I, I don't I don't like it very much. So I would say I was a little bit hardcore with the planning. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna answer this. Um, so it says you struggle with self-image and self-harm. And I know a few of you guys worked this out over the last video. It's not something that I was trying to hide from anybody, but yes, I did used to suffer from it. I think I suffered from it. If I had to put like a timeline on it, I would say it started when I was maybe about 13, ended maybe 19 or 20. So really my teen years, I really, really suffered with that. It was, it was a hard time. Uh, in my teen years, being at school and stuff. A lot of stuff happened. It wasn't very nice. Uh, I, I'm fine now. Please don't worry about me. You know, it's in the past, it's it's an old thing. But yeah, I wanted to come out and say that because I know it's very, very important to acknowledge and address this kind of thing. Uh, it's nothing to be ashamed of. If you have also suffered or do suffer from that kind of thing, please don't feel ashamed. It's the reason why I'm kind of addressing it now, so to speak. So yes, I did suffer from it. I am okay now. Please do not worry about me. Things are good. You've got that resting face perfected by accident. I am well aware, right? Well aware that I have that face. I have tried to get rid of that face. I've tried to, you know, lighten up that face and it doesn't work. Like I can be having the best day on planet earth and someone can see me and I look like I'm about to stab somebody. It's not good. I've tried to do something about it, but my resting face just screams like go away. So if anybody sees me from a distance, if you're out, uh, you know, you see me out and about, I'm not angry. I'm not miserable. I'm just, I don't know. It's, it's just my face. 
That's all I can say, it's just my face. Ooh, another interesting one. I'm gonna answer this too. You have to deal with a not insignificant amount of sexism at your programming job. Now I wanted to answer this very quickly because this is something I get asked a lot, usually in person. When I joined the company that I work with, White Paper Games, we all went to this conference called EGX in you know south of UK, which is a big games conference uh, where loads of companies come and showcase their games. That's Microsoft, the big ones, and then a lot of the indie companies too. And a lot of people, when they found out that I was the programmer, well, first of all, first of all, they didn't think I was the programmer. They thought I was either A, the artist, or B, a promo girl for the company. Thanks, by the way, that's real nice. But when a lot of people found out I was the programmer, the first question out of their mouths was, you know, what's it like working with all those men? And it's like, well, I don't understand the question. Like, really the question is, what's it like working in a team of nine? And I guess that's just reflective of my experience with the team I'm in. The guys at work are the most sweetest, wonderful guys. They treat me basically as they would treat each other. And personally, I don't think that's sexist. I think that's just treating you all equally. Do you know what I mean? We all have a joke. We all, you know, poke fun at each other. That's just how it is. I have no problem with that. I would be a little bit offended if they didn't do that with me because they would be treating me different. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I think that's it. I've gone through a lot of them. There are a lot, lot more, so I'm really sorry if I didn't read yours out. A lot of them were very similar, so obviously I didn't want to read like five of kind of the same question out, but I've tried to answer them as best I can. I tried not to shy away from the more difficult questions. So thank you very, very much for giving me your time and asking me those questions and giving me the opportunity to answer them. If you'd like me to do another one of these videos, uh, more of a Q&A or another assumptions or anything really, just feel free to ask me in the comments and I'm sure we can do that, no problem. You know, if you want to get to know me or if there's any weird gritty questions you'd like to ask me, that's totally fine too. As I said, I, I've done so many informational videos. I don't know what people think of me or how I come across. So I would really like to get to know you guys more and I would like for you guys to get to know me more. So if you want me to do any more of these videos, I'm totally, totally down for that. So please do suggest that in the comments and I will try and arrange another opportunity to do one of these. Thank you very, very much for watching. I will try and resume normal videos as soon as humanly possible and I will see you next week. Bye guys.